so-called gurus, or we have coaches that feel that they snap a finger and they can get kid an offer, or in order for you to get an offer, you need to go through me because I'm that guy. Or, you know, some of these coaches will talk bad about some of these kids in this room based on size, based on attitude, based on efforts, based on parents is willing to hop on a plane, hop in their car, take their kids to school here because, you know, now you're doing something that's outside the norm. My name is Malcolm Baker, Wallet Western, currently uncommitted. Uh, I'll say some of my hobbies is playing video games and going go kart racing. Uh, Jeremiah Seed, Wallet Western High School, um, I'm right now. Some of my hobbies would be uh, spending time with the family, watching football. Marvin Ham, I go to Belleville High School right now. I'm committed to Boston College, and I like hanging out with my family, going go car racing, playing video games. The system's not broke, but the system's not perfect. So, what happens to the days of distinguishing the difference on the football field? You use a competitor, he's a dog. So, what happens to what happens on the football field gets you to where you need to be instead of a coach automatically dawning a cat? You know, you're an All American, you're a five star but it hasn't produced on the field in the same way. And these are the same kids that you're destroying in camps, that you're destroying in one-on-ones, you know? But when you get out there and some of these other cats get in front of these coaches, they're saying, oh, you know, he's too small. Or you know what, he has an attitude. You know, or, or Jaren, you know, does he have full away speed? You know, or is that, I mean, we get the same, you know, ne you know, negative response that, you know, you're getting out there. So why do these coaches feel the need to tear down certain kids and pump up other kids and everybody's out here trying to do the same thing. I, I actually went up to a school. I'm not gonna name the school, but I actually went up to a school. I visited and everything. I, this is whenever my recruiting process was kind of slow. Um, so I was actually going through the same kind of things the other guy was going through. Like, he, he getting an offer, I'm not getting an offer. I was looking at kids like, man, but I was just like, man, I'm not gonna try to hate on that kid to like block my blessing. So, it was really just a matter of, okay, he got that, so I just got to get mine. So I was really just focused on me from that point on. But um, I had a coach tell me that, uh, yeah, come up here, man. Yeah, we love you, we love you. Then they said, yeah, man, we don't want to offer you right now. Um, yeah, I don't think this, uh, I don't want to offer you right now. This is not going to be a good offer for you. We don't, uh, we don't want you right now. So I was just like, okay, bet. So me and my dad took that as, okay, whatever. Just move on to the next one. So then that next week, out of that whole week, I think I got five Power Five offers. Come back the next day, blowing my phone up, blowing my phone up. I look and see, it's the same guy that said he wasn't gonna recruit me. So he like, man, we love you, man. We need you back down here. We need you back down here. We need you back down here, man. You will come here and play. Da 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 da. And I'm just like, coach, you just told me you ain't wanna offer me. He was just like, no, man, that was that was that was coming from the other dude. That was coming from the other dude. We want you here, we want to offer you, we want to offer you. And I was just like... <laughs> you guys find yourselves making moves without telling your boys because you just need them to understand that you're making this move and trust me, you understand it later. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, and then, and then they come back to me, you know, you're milking it, daddy. You're doing too much. You know, why would you do that? You know, that's corny. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why would you, you know, you make me look like, you know, such and such, you know, you make me look gay, you know, you make, you know, you make me look, you know, no. Absolutely. The name on the back is, is the name that I gave. <laughs> so if I'm not for you, who is? I don't doubt it. The recruiting process is very stressful. I mean, my sophomore year, I didn't have no offers. I wasn't known. I wasn't known at all. I go to, go to camps and stuff like dominate, come best to best. And it just be like, it's something very stressful because you be going against the best. Like I was going against Jalen Gill, committed to Ohio State, playing Ohio State right now, dominating him. Like, dang, why am I getting no looks right now? Then out of nowhere, my junior year, I had a good junior year film, went to camps, dominating, going to multiple camps. Then dominating those camps, wondering what's happening. Like, why isn't everything popping? Then I got a power power offer from Iowa State, and out of nowhere, I just blew up out of nowhere. I ended up with 17 offers, and it was very shocking to me because, like, college recruit off of the offers you have. So if you don't have this offer, yeah, that offer, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's just something big. And I mean, that can hurt a lot of kids with their recruiting process and stuff. Because if you have a max school, it's most likely you're not going to get a power five school because of that offer. They don't take them chances. And I mean, ever since I've been a four star, I mean, more colleges being able to recruit me and stuff. So 
Boston College is a great fit for me. Cool. Are you still recruiting you now? Uh, uh, the recruiting process really slowed down for me since I committed to Boston College, which is, I mean, I can say a good thing because Boston College is a great fit for me. I mean, we had a linebacker coach, been coaching the NFL for 10 years plus, Coach Sheridan. I mean, what gets better than that? And I get a great education. So see, you know, I, I think the funny thing is <clears throat> with all that, going back to the recruiting thing, I told, I know Mang and, and, and Griff know this story. So when you get your son on campus, they say we offer if you, if you commit now. But if you don't this. commit now, <laughs> we don't want that offer to get you other offers. And that right here. You know what you heard that? Oh, yeah. That was the wow. wow. That's the before, before MJ got his first offer, yeah. that's one of the problems at school. Didn't know how to offer. And then he just came through couple years, if I offer him now, it's going to be one month yeah, and I won't yeah. because he's going to go power five. So he actually had a match school that wanted to offer him very early. But the coach said, if I offer him now, he's going to blow up and I know I'm not going to get So trying to get into the mind of why this coach is <laughs> offering, don't even, don't even wreck your yeah. brain You're trying to figure out why this coach is doing dumb offer. But if you so, don't offer you definitely aren't going to get it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to ask you the offer that everybody gets. Yeah. First offer. Yeah. Yeah. Blow them up. Yeah. Well, my son can't get a blow up offer. <laughs> <laughs> he been training for how long? How long he been training with these guys? I told you about that. Since eighth grade? Profile. Yeah. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah. You're not one of my kids. I believe we're yeah. only to the everybody. You know, you know, I'm from the old school. Yeah. 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 It takes a village. It takes a and village. You know, and you know, for, most of, for, no, for no coaches out here, but the kids. I watch on Twitter. All the kids, bro, he top five. Oh, you know what I mean? But well, you know, it's, it's easy to jump on board once you're already up there. Uh, you know, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It just comes with criticism. So, you know, you hear about the offers. Yeah. Yeah, but everybody in here is an entrepreneur or businessman or manager right. or whatever. So everybody knows that it, it is about the numbers. About the so because if you're a kid, like you said, or somebody said earlier, if you only got five offers, you know, there's no telling that you might be able to commit to those five. You know, how many of right. us have got hey. personal friends or teammates that we right. see at the last minute scurrying around trying to find a home, yeah. trying to find a place yeah. to yeah. go to? Yeah. You know, so you, you know, you can be halfway good. And if coach get up, get up boy the ball a thousand times, get make make sure he's all state. He has to be good. Sometimes that's yeah, right. I'm just saying. So as I would tell any kid in here, and I told you, you know you. my son, and I tell coach, if you're interested in my son and you're going to offer him, I make it a point to make sure that I take myself and my son to sit down in front of that coach's face. Right. You know, I you know you do that, coach. I'm gonna show my faith on my end and do the same thing. You know, that's goodwill on both ends. Right. So yeah, you know, right. there you go. So then now that's when you know when. Cats can't control it. Right. That's when they start trying to label you, try to throw a little salt, try to put, you know, everything out there. You know, nobody knows y'all's grind. I don't even know your story, but I can't wait to hear it. You know, because I can appreciate it. You know, nobody, I appreciate the right. grind. Nobody yeah. knows the sacrifices yeah. that I've made for mine. Go, go. You know, but, you know, you talking about, you know, sharing carries, running back and do all of this. You know, my whole thing is, you know, why does it have to be about sharing? Why does it have to be about, you know, this kid and that kid competing because they play the same spot. Whatever happened to the days of their teammates, both of them are dogs. You don't hear that when about the two running backs that came out of Georgia. You don't hear that about the other ones, but it's always a competition. <laughs> it's a competition because one kid is technically from the city right. and the other kid technically exactly. is not from the city. Exactly. Or, you know, they feel that one kid is on that grind, right. you know, he's, you know, he, you know, he's less privileged or, right. you know, the perception is that, you know, this kid got more or his family has more. No, I'm just willing to do what I have to do for my child and not put that in the hands of somebody else. Because you as a coach, how are you going to tell me what's best for my kid? Yeah. I got an issue with that. Well, you know what? The best thing for you. Or, you know what, Malcolm, I don't think you're a wide receiver, man. I think you're an offensive tackle. <laughs> you know, so because I speak and I say that you're an offensive tackle, when I come across any of these coaches, guess what? You're an offensive tackle. So now that, what I put out there, that, that puts doubt, right? Right. So now you got the misconception, what is it? Yeah, so these coaches have a way of spinning stuff to try to put a little doubt on your name. But you know, hey. you know, Jared, it's funny. It seems like a lot of us, parents and the kids, seem to have a little chip on the shoulder. <laughs> a little bit. They're looking back at this process a little bit, you know. And I guess you need to have a little discomfort, a little little motivation to push you to you know to to achieve what you what you guys have to actually achieve. You know, we don't want to take anything away from the kids because you guys are the ones that put the work in. Yeah, it's but, not uh, but a lot of times, you may get that motivation. You may, you know, somebody say you couldn't do this, you do that, you do. I see it, and and I I can appreciate all of you all in here. You know, I 
what you all have done. It's all about that grind. Yeah. You're not here by coincidence. Right. You have <laughs> friends and teammates and everybody to say, because a lot of it's just about that life, right? They just want to say, hey, I got that offer. Or they want to say, I'm a college athlete. I, you know, I had an opportunity. Yeah. No, it's a lifestyle. Because I promise you this. Y'all say you love the game right now. When you go to college, you're going to find out we'll how find much out you love. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, it's, that's where it's going to separate all these. Maybe in boxing as well. It's going to separate all of these. Because everybody, you're the little man of turbo. So now you're going to find out how much you really love. Because now it takes a whole different type of sacrifice. A different type of love. Not the love that these cats are trying to sell you on. It's a different type of love. I'm talking about that early morning, bad breath, hair ain't cold type of love. <laughs> you know, and you know, some guys can make it, some guys can't.